I wonder if it's one of the emperors. I don't know, but we will find out soon. Oh yeah, we definitely will find out soon, like right now, I think, maybe? Got a full house on this one. Lancers, sabers, and archers. Uh, don't know who's in this lineup, though. There we go. I think for this, we'll, we'll stick to using the, uh, main, the main sword. So, let's actually have Nero join us for once. We have a saber. Let's bring an archer. Let's bring... Robin. And for our Lancer, uh, you know, let's bring Leonidas. I feel like Ku would get used a lot more just because of how good he is. But I want to vary it up. Oh. Hi, Darius. What's the sound? A beast howling? No, it's a servant's presence. It's possible that an enemy servant has appeared. A big gun like Mash and the others? An enemy commander? If, in that case, one of the emperors? First, let's draw Beckerman. Humans don't stand a chance against that. They'll be slaughtered. Right, gotcha. So the instant we move Bodeca to the rear, this happens? Let's head to the front. Master! I have them in my sights. That's... I'm picking up multiple magical signatures. All belong to that of necromancy. But with this number, perhaps a caster? Multiple non-human hostile, hostile creatures. We haven't confirmed the source of the roar. It may be a berserker. Master, we should eradicate this group of hostile creatures. Sure. Right. Actually, kind of sad we're not fighting uh, Darius right now. I'm even sadder I didn't bring Alexander. Though that would have been pretty awkward considering we're fighting Alexander, but hey, whatever. There we go. Damn, Leonidas gets, uh, wow, shit. Everyone seems to get Noble Phantasm super quick. Alright, well, already got Nero's Noble Phantasm. God damn. Alright, archers. This should be where Leonidas shines. Okay. And of course they all go after Nero. Yeah, there we go. That sounds good. Alright. Okay, well, not nearly as good as I thought. Alright, now here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Alright, Leonidas, go to town. And now to finish off this group in luscious fashion. Alright. Yo. Poison that guy. Yubo. Laos St. Claudius. And Leonidas to finish up because, I don't know. I'm really surprised I haven't maxed out uh, Robin Hood yet on his Noble Phantasm. I guess I really just don't pull him that often. I wonder if Nero sees me summon her to the battlefield or if she just has this power on her own to summon her own theater. That'd be kind of weird though. Yeah, 
Also, I wonder if she ever freaks out when I bring former enemies to the field. Like, we literally just not that long ago fought Leonidas and then I summon him forth. Looks like a servant was summoned in the enemy vanguard. Was that court mage's doing? No, it couldn't have been. In that case, was it you? I don't know. All I did was gallop my horse. I thought they'd be on their way by now. I never thought it would be this soon. Oh? Have you heard the rumors about the Mediterranean goddess? G goddess? They say that aside from her, there are two female monsters. So you see, it hit me. A chained summon, if such a thing could be possible. I don't like battles that rely on luck. Please don't say that. You're the one who created that opening in their vanguard. Let's get ready now while he's buying us time. Are you sure? About? If he materialized through the chain summon, then most likely he's... Yes, I think he's Darius III, the fearless Persian king and my forever rival in life. However, right now I feel that I know that as a kind of future. It's okay. I fought him once, and will fight him again. And I want to fight him again, but not right now. Right now it's Nero Claudius. I want to talk to that person. All right, uh, Alexander's got some weird thought process, but okay. Oh dear. What do I do now? So I'm clearly fighting Darius. That's almost a given. I don't want to bring Alexander because that's a bit on the nose. Iskandar's not in the game. Let's bring Lubu. Let's also bring. Let's bring my own force of berserk. I've already I've done berserker groups a thousand and one times before. <sighs> I wish I had more. I wish I knew what other ones to bring. Bring Carmilla is kind of pointless. There's no females on this battle for her to take advantage of. That sounds way dirtier than I intended it to be. Emia and. Saber Altar. Let's just curb stomp this team. <sighs> Amazing! I can almost fear the air vibrations over here. Magical energy signature confirmed. He's a servant. Yeah, you don't fucking say. Linguistic communication impossible. It's an enemy servant. Master, your orders. Arr. Uh. We can beat it. Right. Man, I'm about ready for a nap. <laughs> Alright, so what have I got here? Bunch of stuff for Lu Boo. There we go. Just try and get Saber Altar's Noble Phantasm up. At least as best as I can. For some reason, it sounded like I said asbestos. I don't know why. There we go. There's Saber Altar. Which means I could literally now just say fuck you to this entire wave of enemies, but I'm not going to. Not yet, anyways. <laughs> there we go. Now I'm going to say fuck you to this entire wave of enemies. Unlimited blade works. I am. I'm sorry, I can't hear you over your special effects, Archer.
Well, those people are certainly dead. All right, let me guess. Fatal battle with Darius. Yep. All right, Darius. See how you handle the might of another Berserker. And then follow that up with, you know, Saber Altar. God Force and Excalibur Morgan. Kill. Oh, it didn't insta kill you? That's okay. That's what she's here for. Later, Darius. Thank you for the uh, statue, though. Oh, cool. I got bonded up with Lubu. Nice. And I got a Berserker statue. I'm always in need of those. I'm actually fairly low on those, I think. Hmm. I think I used the last one's leveling, uh, Kentoki. We've defeated the enemy servant. Good job, master. You're really getting, uh, the hang of fighting servants. Your experiences are coming in handy. Well done. Oh no, doctor. I think it's because of master's precise orders. Commander Vane Izanagi, Commander Mash, a message. It's from Her Majesty the Emperor. There has been an ambush in the rear. Both General Spartacus and General Lubu have left the battle. Oh no, so the enemy deployed a two-front attack? The two generals have defeated the enemy forces, but they've broken away in pursuit of remnants. Then another force launched a surprise attack from both sides. General Boudicca fell into the enemy's hands and was taken prisoner. This is... This is not good at all. You gonna say something, Nero? Nero? Oh, I seem to have been in deep, deep in thought. I've made my decision. Seemed? Our forces were outmatched in the previous battle. I will accept this as a stern truth. My generals are just as capable as the enemy emperors, but two of them left the front line and one is captured by the enemy. There is nothing we can do about those two. No, it was my mistake. It might take a little bit of time, but I'm willing to believe Lubu and Spartacus will return to us. Therefore, at this point, we will save Boudicca. Fortunately, Jinkei found the location of the enemy fort. We will charge in, destroy the fort, and save Boudicca. <sighs> Doctor, something wrong? Yeah, your battery is low. I just feel uneasy. The one who captured Boudicca is supposed, is supposed to be a servant. It's not something a regular human can do. But why are they barricading themselves in a fort? It's not that far from the United Empire capital, so it should be convenient to get back there. The enemy is trying to lure us in, is that what this means? If they just want to destroy our force, the approach I mentioned earlier should be better. We have at least two servants. They should understand that too. And that's why they cut off Lupu and Spartacus in such a spectacular manner. Yes, humans and servants, I think the enemy has a good grasp of the clear difference. Now Vane, it's time for a decision. We're gonna go rescue Boudicca. I see. I knew you'd say that. You're too optimistic. We're at war. We need a strategic point of view. Yeah. Fuck strategy. We have like 11 berserkers. But I don't believe your way of thinking is bad. You understand me, Vaini Zanagi. In that case, let's conquer together. Our target is the enemy base. We will take it at once. My loyal soldiers, attack with caution. Yay! I got another Saint Quartz. Woo! Oh, my throat is killing me. <laughs> also, I'm out of AP. But, uh, to celebrate the ending of this, this is the wrong place to be. This is the right place to be. Do I have? Good, I have enough. Alright, we're gonna end this like we usually do. Let's, uh, spin the Wheel of Destiny.
Hope we get something good. You know, I'd kill for a Lord of Malloy. That'd be a great game. You can always throw me a bone. Give me that. You won't, but yeah, I knew you wouldn't. You're a dick game. I hate you, game. Why do I keep playing you? <laughs> because you can never leave, Beatdown. You're right, game. You're right. <laughs> Anyways, that's going to be it for now, guys. So next time we're heading to the Hidden Fortress. And I'm going to bolster up my AP with apples and St. Quartz. Which is why I left one St. Quartz. So until then, I will catch you all later. Asta.